The Anus superciliosa is the most recognizable duck in Australia. Its plumage features shades of light brown with an unmistakable glossy green near the wings. Hey, what's an Anus super whatever? It's the scientific name of a Pacific black duck. <clears throat> Okay. The female, Wait, lighter. Why are you speaking like that? I'm rehearsing to be a citizen scientist. Rehearsing? I don't think that's how it works. <clears throat> <clears throat> the female, lighter in colour. Okay, so there might be a bit more to being a citizen scientist than a silly accent. It's when ordinary people do experiments or research to help scientists learn more about the world around us, and pretty much anyone can be one, including kids. That is Galina Tenebrous and Dusky Warhead. Meet Griffin. He's only eight, but he's already one of Australia's top citizen scientists. See that yellow tip on the orange oh, yeah, on the beak? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, that is a dead giveaway. He spends most of his free time looking for unusual plants and animal species. And if he spots something, he snaps a pic and uploads it to a special science app. The app then classifies the find, tells him the scientific name of the species, and gives him points for each new find. Take pictures of an animal or plant or an organism that isn't domestic, and then you put the species name in and then experts sort of like identify it and you can earn gold. Well, not real gold. The app is called Quester Game and Griffin's not the only kid into it. I've been playing Quester Game for about one and a half years. Meet Austin. He's 10 and is currently the number one bird spotter in the country. When I started playing Quester Game, I started finding new species of different animals and I wanted to make my species on the Quester game being first or second in the leaderboard. In fact, recently, Austin beat thousands of other citizen scientists, mostly adults, to win the first ever World BioQuest competition. But it's not just a game. The info that these guys and thousands of users collect is used by scientists to work out where some species can be found and can even lead to new discoveries. A young player who discovered a black-faced monarch bird that was not in a region at all where it was expected to be. And it's a sighting like that 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 gives us new knowledge about the distribution of species. I've recently discovered a new species just by looking at the data uh, uploaded online. Austin and Griffin reckon the app is a great way to get outdoors and learn more about nature, and they'd love to see more kids getting involved. It'll be good to have more people that are very interested in animals. If you want to be a scientist, you can get a head start. So who knows what groundbreaking discoveries young citizen scientists could make in the future.